Just as gravity pulls water downhill along a stream bed, so gravity pulls water downward through the soil under saturated conditions. In unsaturated soil, the primary forces causing water to move laterally are capillary. Once the soil becomes saturated, gravity is the primary force causing downward water movement. Capillary action is the primary force affecting water movement in unsaturated soils. On the left is a single drip source similar to a drip irrigation system in a garden. On the right is a multi-drip source representing rainfall or sprinkle irrigation. Initially, the pores in both soil profiles are unsaturated. Water flows primarily through the smaller pores due to capillary forces. On the left, lateral and vertical movement occurs at nearly the same rate. Also, the downward movement of the wetting front is approximately the same for the single drip source as for the multi-drip source. Eventually, the wetted soil pore spaces on the right are filled to near saturation because the water is being applied at a faster rate than it can be moved by capillary action. Since the larger pores in the soil on the right are now filled with water, they conduct water more rapidly than the unsaturated soil pores on the left. Since capillary forces are not as great in the larger pores as in the smaller pores, gravity becomes more important in moving the ponded water downward through the soil.